Hey, Greg is here. In this episode we will implement a simple tint of our screen in Godo. Let's begin creating a new scene for screen tint effect. Save it, of course. So to tint our screen, we need a node which will cover our screen. We will use color rect node. Color rect is pretty much a box on your screen of solid color. To cover entire screen, the best way is to use anchors. So open the control layout and switch the mode to use anchors. Set it to be full rect. Difference is that position use a clearly set position on a screen, while anchors use relative positions. We will cover the UI in future episodes, where we will go into much more details on the topic. To save you from blinding light of the white color, let's change the color to be black. So tinting is done by simply changing the alpha of our color making it see-through. Select screen tint and create another new script called screen tint. Inside let's define the reference to the color rect for cover. For the fields to show up, build the project and assign references. To differentiate what we are trying to do at the moment, we will use an enum state, where we will have a fading, revealing and idle state. Create a field for current state and a float variable for alpha of the color. So let's make two public methods, start fade where inside we will set our current state to fading or revealing. Start reveal. In the process, we will check which state are we on right now by using switch statement. So when we are in the fading state, we want to create and call a new method, which will fade or hide our screen. Pass delta as a parameter, which represent time to process a frame. And for revealing state, we will create and call a new method called revealing, which will be revealing our screen. Inside fading, we will be changing the alpha until we cover the entire screen. If alpha is less than one, where one is our entire screen is covered by our cover, we add delta to the alpha. Add the calculated alpha to the color of the cover. This will slowly cover our screen. To slowly with time increase the alpha, and cover our screen. When we reach one, it means the screen is covered and we can switch to the idle state. Let's set alpha to be one to remove any possible fraction of this number. Good. Inside reveal, we will do similar approach, but in opposite direction. We are revealing our screen. So now we are moving towards zero of our alpha. So subtract the delta from alpha. When we reach zero, we will switch to idle state and apply color back to the cover. Read the current state of, of alpha in the ready. So the state of the screen tint will be red when we start the game. Let's add some simple testing button for now. In the input map, add screen tint test input. Now 
which I assign to F1 and screen reveal test, which I assign to F2. In the process of screen tint, we wait for press of one of those actions by using is action just pressed. So if we press screen tint, we call start fade. If we press reveal, we call start reveal. And now let's test this. Add screen tint scene to the main scene. Good. Small correction. Let's set the current state to, the, to be idle on ready, so it wouldn't immediately try to cover the screen. As a last touch, let's clear our root folder, while I say thank you for all the Patreon support. If you like this episode, please comment, like and subscribe. It helps a lot for small channels like mine. With this much more cleaner root folder, all I left to say is see you in the next episode.